Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again with another Binomator tutorial. So this one may not really be for the veterans of the channel who've watched most of my tutorials, but this is something uh, that's come up a couple of times recently and people have asked about it, so I decided to go ahead and tackle it and show you a little trick that I've learned in my recent animating adventures. So, uh, this is kind of a follow-up where if you want to make it a walk cycle and you want to do it easily, I have my complete beginner's guide that shows this, but we're going to go over it again and then add a little bit of advanced tips on top of it. So, let's say you want to animate Steve and uh, you don't have your own walk cycle or you don't like other people's or you want to do your own thing but you don't want to start from scratch. Well, the automatic walk cycle in my animator is actually a good way to get an easy start on how to make a simple but customized walk cycle for your character. So what I'm going to do, as you can see here, I've set one keyframe for Steve and this is the root character, not anything else. We're going to go ahead and start another one. I'm just going to make it about two seconds in on frame 60. So what I'm going to do now that I have these two keyframes set up, we're just going to go ahead and double click on the first one. And that brings us up some options down here. Now you'll notice that the options we need aren't here. And if you're having this problem, maybe it's because if you click this and drag it out, you're, the day old two bar didn't have enough room for all the icons, man. All right. So there's a little troubleshooting tip for you. Hopefully that helped. And uh, we're going to click on, we're just going to do a walk cycle because that's what we're trying to do here. And that gives you this really basic Minecraft walk cycle. Now, if you're doing, you know, a really Minecrafty styled animation, I don't see a problem with this. A lot of people don't like it, but I don't see a problem with it. Another thing I might would do, maybe, is, if you were going to use this, is select the legs and make the transitions linear. Uh, I know it said linear there, but these are actually, I think, different. So you'll notice that his walk is a little bit more blocky there, and I think that looks better for the legs, just me personally. Anyway, so what we're going to do is use two of these key poses here. So you have this one and this one. It's basically two reverse poses, and we're going to line them up with the arms. You don't have to line them up with the arms. This is just a way to do it more easily, and we're going to make it a little bit faster so that we can work with this. I'm also gonna get rid of the base position just cause we're gonna be working with just the keyframes for the walk cycle here. And I don't know, we'll make it about 12 keyframes, something like that. So basically what we have now is this, like it's just two reverse poses. So first thing you're gonna do to customize your walk cycle is you're gonna determine which leg is coming forward and that happens to be the left in this case. And since we're on a 12, frame walk cycle we're going to go dead center on frame six and we're just going to bend the leg just a little bit maybe about 45 degrees it really depends on what kind of walk you're wanting to do and then we're going to do the same i'm just going to copy this and hit paste here and that's going to be on frame 18 because we're going with the 12 keyframe walk cycle at this point in time anyway and then what we should be able to do, oops, actually that goes on the other leg. Here we go. Boop. There we go. That leg on frame 18. So we get a reversal of what's happening here. Something like that. And then all we have to do is copy paste this out and we'll have a good old walk cycle. All right. So another thing that it does by default here is with the body. We don't really have too much of an issue with this, but one thing we can do, I feel like two on the Y rotation is a bit much, so I'm gonna make it positive one and negative one to give it a little bit less of a look there. Again, it really depends on how Minecrafty you want it to look and all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, there's your walk cycle and you can also kind of make it teeter a little bit. They can turn it a little bit more. Let's go about negative two on this one and positive two on this one. So the body actually kind of rotates just slightly. You can make it a bigger number if you want it to be more obvious. And then for the arms, we're going to come down here and they basically just go up like this. We can add a bin. We can actually have it bend pretty much the entire time if you wanted to. Let's just say about 25, something like that. You could also make it where I think typically when people walk, their arms are kind of straighter uh, when they go back. It really depends on how you want to look, man. You ain't got to do all this stuff if you don't want to. So uh, that's pretty basic there. And then you can see there's nothing for the head. If you wanted to, you can make the head kind of bob up and down a little bit more if you wanted to or something like that. But uh, you don't really have to. Uh, one thing we did do is since we rotated the body, 
uh, this is negative two, so we may want to make the head go, say, positive one. You want to keep a little bit of a, a move there, and then this one will be negative one, so that way it doesn't just go in line with the body the whole time. It'll kind of have its own movements, all right? And uh, one thing on the arms you'll notice is there should be this ease in and ease out quadratic. I usually find that the ease in ease out sign looks a little better in my opinion, but again, it, all the transition things, there isn't like a set transition you can use for everything. You have to figure out what works for what kind of animation you're doing and how you want things to look. So uh, anyway, this is our basic walk cycle. Let's just go ahead and copy paste this out so that we can see what it looks like. Just get these lined up properly. Is that about right? Yeah, and then we want to keep going like this, something like that, and we're just going to see what this looks like. And as you can see there, that doesn't look too terrible for a basic little walk cycle. One thing I am noticing is this ease out, ease in, ease out quadratic on the body is, it's a little bit too wonky, so at least in my opinion, it's kind of like jolting back and forth due to how quick we had this walk cycle going. So I'm going to put that on sign. That gives us a more smooth look, in my opinion. That's what I'm going to go with. And uh, we can probably do the same for the head. I don't think it really looks that noticeable being on linear, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the sake of consistency. Make sure everything is working together the way it should. And it looks okay to me. Doesn't look too bad at all, man. And there you go. That's pretty much a, a pretty easy, basic walk cycle. Uh, one other thing you can do if you really want to kind of beef up your walk cycle a bit you can add some uh what do you call this z rotation let me go ahead and undo the copy pasting we did here is uh the arms can be made to rotate outward just a tad maybe like about two on this one so it's going to rotate outward where the arm is going to go kind of away from steve when it goes back and then maybe inward when it's going uh towards steve so let's just have this one go like negative two and you can rotate uh, on the Y a little bit too if you wanted to let's go positive two and negative two on that one and then we're gonna go positive two and negative two on this one something like that and that gives it just a little bit of a curvature inwards and then outwards when it goes out it gives them a little bit more swag you might say so uh yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and make those little bit of changes that we have. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste this on out. Try to keep our keyframe spacing consistent. You can go by the frames, but oftentimes I find myself just going by the look as long as it looks spaced out the way I want it to. Then it's pretty good. It's a pretty simple little basic walk cycle. Another thing you can do with the head here since the body is leaning Number one on the Y there, we can have it go, whoops. <laughs> you can go negative one on the head and positive one on the head, something like that. And uh, that'll keep the, the head level if you wanted it to do so. I don't really see the need for it, so I'm just gonna undo that real quick. There we go, I'm gonna save. And we got our project good to go, all right. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and show you how to make Steve walk and then come to a stop. All right, so now we've got this keyframe moved out over here and we're just gonna move Steve however we want, something like that. And as you can see here, when we watch it back, he's moving far too slowly. So we're gonna go ahead and move this out more. Let's just say this is how much we want him to walk. You really need to depend on what your scene is like and how fast you want to move and all this stuff. The walk cycle may be too fast. You may need to slow it down. Whatever the case may be. What I like to do when I animate walk cycles though, I like to look at the grid basically of the pixel pattern on whatever the floor is. And I use that as a way to determine if things are moving exactly the way I want them to. So if I scrub through this, you'll notice, let me actually get rid of that so you can just see what's going on here. The foot isn't sliding at all on the pixels. It looks like he plants it and he's going pretty... Uh, pretty good there. It's not sliding at all. He's moving consistently across the environment and that's what you want to look for. You want to make sure that there's no sliding 
of the pixels while he's moving. Even if the walk cycle wasn't that great, as you can see, this one's pretty basic. Not a whole lot going on here. Uh, but it does look like he's actually traversing across the land. And uh, that's pretty much what you want to happen regardless of what the walk cycle itself looks like. So there you go. He comes to a stop over here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to use a little invisibility trick you may have seen in some of my other videos before or previous tutorial or something. We're going to go ahead and select all of these by clicking and dragging over them as you saw. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to toggle the visibility on and off. And that's going to set a keyframe for all those positions. Boop. Just like so. Alternatively, you can just go to them and, and have them all selected and whatnot. But uh, that's an easy way to do it without adjusting things. All right, so as you can see here, the stop is kind of uh, not working out too well. He comes to a stop like this and is like, bang, he's kind of sliding a little bit. So what you might would want to do instead is have his foot stay planted so he's going to stop moving wherever this is. All right, so basically what I'm going to do to accomplish this to make Steve stop where his foot is planted, I'm going to go ahead and put a keyframe right here for the body. Let's go ahead and remove that one. And what we want to happen here is for this to come out, we're going to bring that in a little bit, and then we're going to drag these over like so. And as you can see, he comes to a stop. So basically, you're just using that position, and you're going to have him come to a complete stop like where he's in his default pose whatever that may be I'm just using the actual default of everything and we drug this keyframe here back so that the leg moves consistently with the walk cycle and then just stops here so there we go that was, it's kind of a, a weird little maneuver you have to do there so hopefully that didn't go over your heads too much if it did feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, if we revisit this topic in the future I'll try to make that clearer but hopefully that helps you guys with how to make a basic walk cycle and bring Steve to a stop something like that all right so I hope that tutorial was helpful guys sorry if it was too newbie or anything but hopefully you got something out of it unless you are a noob and it was really helpful in which case I'm glad it did or I hope it did at least Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you like this video and you want to support the channel, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets. And I will see you guys in the next video.